The when I grow up coach, what are you going to be when you grow up? Five ways to figure out what you want to be when you grow up, and they're easy. Here we go. Tip one looks like the easiest tip, but is actually the hardest. And that is suspend disbelief. Let yourself for the next week, week, one week in your whole entire life, that is nothing. Suspend disbelief. Shut up the voice that tells you you can't do something. It's not realistic. It's not grown up. Shut it up and shut it down. That will absolutely do everything 100% to hinder you from figuring out what you want to be when you grow up and what you're really passionate about and what's really going to light you up. And then it's about figuring out the how. I've never, ever, ever yet worked with someone where we figured out what they wanted to be when they grew up and then, and then it was like, oh, well, we totally can't make that happen. There's absolutely zero way for that to happen. There's always a way to make it happen. So that is tip number one suspend disbelief for a week. That's it. In one week, you could call me and be like, Michelle, this isn't going to work. Um, and I'll be like, did you suspend disbelief for a week? And you will say yes. And I'll be like, okay, then we could talk about how it's going to work. Then it's about how, but that's a whole nother video for another time. Tip number two, let other people do the dirty work for you in terms of figuring out what you shine at. If you're really brave, you could go on Facebook, and put a post and say, hey everyone, can you write me a comment as to what you feel I'm really good at? Or what would you go to me to, to help you with? Um, or what have I done for you that you felt was, was really great? Or send an email to the people that you love, that you know are just gonna be non-judgmental and super supportive, and then offer on Facebook or over email, offer to do the same thing for those people, to leave them a comment or send them a message, send them an email, answering the same questions about them. Honestly, I know it is scary and freaky and everyone goes like, oh my God, do I have to do this? But they come back to me and they go, Michelle, it's Christmas early. It's like Christmas, my birthday, and one, hearing about all the things that people love and admire about me and think that I do well and shine at, um, because that's a really, really great place to start. With that, we wanna follow that up with something that I like calling your win book where it is a tangible place it is a physical notebook it's a word document it's a gmail file i have mine in evernote so i just copy and, and paste because usually i get the stuff electronically um whenever anyone thanks you for something whenever ever anyone tells you that you did a great job you want to put it in your win book and not only will you have something that'll cheer you up when you're having a really horrible day and think you can't do anything right, you could read what's in your win book, but you're also gonna see certain patterns um, repeating, what people are thanking you for the most, what you're getting complimented on, what people are reaching, you, are reaching out to you to ask for your help on. You could put that in the win book too, if someone says, I'd love your help planning this party. Um, there has to be a reason for it. You could even ask them, why would you ask me to help plan this party? We wanna get that down and and take it from them. Tip number three. Now it's your turn. Set a timer for two minutes. Do not let the pen touch, leave the paper the entire time and literally write down what you love doing, what you find you do when you lose track of time. And like I said before, everything counts. Everything counts. So if you just get lost in vintage stores, um, finding different outfits to put together, you may not know that you might not want to work in fashion. I don't care. Put it down. Anything in your life. When have you had a great time? When have you just felt fully yourself? All of those experiences, instances, things you were doing, um, that all counts. Put it down. Figuring out what you want to be when you grow up. Tip number four. I want you to write a Dear Future Me letter. What that entails is you taking out a piece of paper and writing today's date, but one year from now. So for example, I would write June 26, 2013, because it's now June 26, 2012, and I'd write Dear Future Michelle. And I would go about explaining every single thing that has, has happened to me between, between June 26, 2012 and June 26, 2013. Obviously, it hasn't happened yet, but that's the wonderfulness of this exercise, so that you are acting as if it happened and you're able to explore not only what you're doing and I know it might be hard career wise because you're like Michelle but I don't know what I want to be when I grow up you could even leave that aspect out but talk about where you're living who you're spending time with what you look like what you're doing in your free time you might figure out that 
you know, I really want to be spending the majority of my time with my kids and that's what's going to be the most important to me and make this next year so great. And so then we're going to know that's going to need to be a part of your grown up career. It's things like that that we want to be exploring um, for the next year because that's going to give you really good pieces of the puzzle. If not specifically what you're doing, it's kind of the environment around it, the values around it. That's a really great way to tie that all together. And tip number five, for the love of God, apply to my scholarship. Do not do yourself a disservice by letting it pass you by. Apply, 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 apply. And also, I'm not even going to say or, and also make sure you sign up for my newsletter um, through the link that is on the top right of every single one of my pages because you're going to get access to a huge library of VIP content, exercises, workshops, worksheets, everything that I've ever kind of put out there for free. I, I put it in this library and you're going to get a ton of resources and then go and visit my resources page. You'll see links to my Pinterest boards, which has like so many, every single juicy article of goodness that I read, I put on my Pinterest board. So it's more than just like, these are things I find pretty, although I have that there too. Um, it has really useful resources. So use me when I grow up coach.com, come visit, hang out, stay a while. I'm totally here to help. So when I grow up coach, what are you going to be when you grow up? That was balls.